Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. And today I will talk about、um, some AR and VR news. And the first one will be on、um, PRNewsWire.com. PRNewsWire.com. Okay. So, yeah, the title is called、uh, Li uh, Libra Stream Re、uh, Reveal uh, Unveil um, um, Unveil Work. Workforce collaboration and knowledge sharing enhancement as part of AI connected expert vision. Okay, so、uh, let's take a look of、uh, LibreStream. So yeah, so pretty much LibreStream they are providing the <clears throat> combination of AR、uh, remote、uh, collaboration solution launched a new foundational、uh, cap capability of its artificial intelligence. AI connect、uh, expert vision, giving in the industrial workers、uh, immediate access to the content, people's smart data and guidance needed to、uh, efficiently and safely platform、uh, perform their work. Okay, so this article is、uh, written by provided by、um, uh, Libro Stream. Yeah, Libro Stream. Okay, so pretty much、uh, in this. Um, article it talks about Libra Stream. They are doing a lot of、um, you know、uh, integration for people to、um, you know to do their work, including the AI artificial intelligence,、uh, machine learning,、uh, ML in inter Internet of Things, IoT and uh, AR. Uh, so pretty much、uh, through AI, ML, IoT, AR, those four.、Uh, Combination, pretty much you can,、um, you know, not only,、um, you know, using like more like、uh, I would say,、um, you know, collaborate remote. It, it it will really enhance the collaboration remotely. So yeah, so、uh, especially with the、um, natural language processing. So what's natural language processing? Pretty much, it's that、uh, you talk like、um, a real person. Or you know, like, pretty much,、um, it can、um, allows you to not only like, kind of like you know, like a a lot of when we call a bank, right? And then、uh, it has some certain steps that you need to talk, and it's rigid. But、uh, through more, you know, like a, a VUI, like more flexible、uh, VUI, it allows、uh, people to. Be more flexible about the command. So yeah, so this really、uh, requires a lot of、uh, you know machine learning and uh, uh, AI power for those. Yeah. So、um, yeah, and、uh, this will be、uh, built or like、uh, you. It requires Hololens two platform. So、um, uh, the Advancement built on the AI Connect,、uh, you know, expert workforce. From,、um, it's like pretty much you need to because Hololens two has a lot of really good function, for, such as you know you can use more、uh, voice command and also three D,、uh, you know, three D in、uh, in vision and also you know like a lot of really uh, good uh, connected uh, like. The the hardware itself is so smart that、uh, it can really integrate、uh, AI, ML, IoT, and AR together to、uh, for people to or, or like for uh, the uh, workers to understand、um, what will、uh, what what can you do? For example, like natural language processing. So through the、uh, Libra Streams、uh, NLP capability. It will enable users to simplify and、uh, secure translate speech to text, including live、uh, transcription, caption displayed on screen, and、uh, live trans translation of calls from one language to another. So it will not only you know just、uh, when you talk,、um, yeah, and、uh, the. You know the machine will respond, or a computer will respond. But also, it will. You know, usually for VUI or you know like voice command,、uh, when you talk,、uh, it will recruit. Like the computer will record a short voice clips, right? 
and through these short clips, it will uh, upload to the cloud, and then the cloud will translate into text. And then according to the test, the AI can start, you know, uh, validate whether this is like, it, it's like AI part, AI needs to validate whether this is like what, what types of command um, AI need to execute. So uh, this is through more like through, um, I would say AI part. So uh, through NLP, uh, not only you can, you know, like turn the speech into text, but also uh, you will display on the screen and you can speak different languages and you can do the translation, which is really, really helpful because not everyone speaks, you know, not everyone's uh, f first language is uh, English. So it will be really helpful for people who, you know, work from other country, they can speak their own language. And also, yeah, uh, whether a field technician works with a subject matter expert. What's subject matter expert? It means that uh, someone who is expert in a certain field, for example, like doctor, right? Doctor um, um, or surgeon, right? They are the expert of their own field, right? So that's subject matter expert. Um, and er, yeah, so pretty much, a uh, few um, technicians, they can work with the experts, even uh, it doesn't matter whether uh, the technician has the knowledge or not, as long as he or she can take the order, pretty much pair up with a subject matter expert, they can start doing um, a lot of uh, works through that device. Uh, not only, uh, you know, AR can pretty much display or live stream, uh, you know, uh, the task or, you know, um, the, the stuff, but also they can communicate with the supplier in a different country or assist with the remote inspection. So yeah, so this is definitely helps for the translation and also like having more accurate uh, way to get the best result for and, and, um, NLP. Yeah, so yeah, according to um, like, yeah, people, yeah, like Forbes Insights reports 67% uh, of senior executives say uh, miscommunication due to the language barrier lead to efficiency. So this will definitely helps to uh, break the barriers between, you know, the, the miscommunication and also the visual part because Sometimes what you see, you know, when you see it, it's worth than a thousand words, right? So it's really good to have AR, you know, the visual part for people to totally understand uh, that uh, the, the communication or what, what they need to do, right? And also um, this Libre stream, they have an advanced AR hardware integration. Um, yeah, so they can, um, yeah, pretty much if you use HoloLens 2, it is like $3,000 computer wear on your head, right? So it is extremely powerful. Um, yeah, so not only it allows you to do the hands-free, but also it has, you know, the, the holographic visual interface that supports for gestures voice-driven command, VUI, and 3D audio experience. Wow, yeah, audio is like 360 audios. So yeah, so uh, I personally think that this is pretty good. And if it can, you know, um, merge some um, uh, wearable device, that's pretty amazing. And then, yeah, so um, yeah, so this, you know, like, um, it, it will enable customers to achieve meaningful business outcomes such as 70% productivity gain, um, 65 to 70% increase in asset uptime and three times increases in inspections per day, extends the value of companies HoloLens to investment, investment with an integrated experience that captures and shares knowledge across the workforce. So yeah, so I think uh, the combination is definitely pretty good. Not only, you know, like, yeah. So right now I I think the, uh, before I saw that AR, VR, it's like 
sitting in exclusively in its own place like a few years ago. But right now, I start seeing that you know by integrating with AI, ML, machine learning, IoT, Internet of Things, uh, those you know. And before we were talking about uh, AR, VR integrate with blockchain, right? So those stuff start integrating itself and become another field that really helps us to solve the problem. Before, when people talked about AR, VR, they thought about games, right? But I think games is a pretty good start, or like, you know, like more entertainment part. But right now, by enhance your visual, right? Like. AR, VR pretty much uh, make people immerse into that environment or see things in um, um, a lot of like put by putting a 3D object inside a real world or a real time, um, you know, update data in the real world, it will definitely change the communication and also, you know, uh, help us to uh, do more and learn more. So yeah, so I personally think that <laughs> Right now, uh, XR is integrating AI, ML, and uh, um, also IoT. So those stuff will definitely help us to, you know, um, upgrade our life or uh, speed up uh, uh, everything. And I started seeing the Cyberman, you know, like before uh, computer, because right now I'm learning H HCI, human computer interaction. So yeah, so the most important thing for HCI is mouse, right? Mouse pretty much, you know, before we need to type the command, right? The interface is pretty much is still a little broken, but because of a mouse, and then uh, we use the visual talk to the computer and computer understand. So, you know, like computer and human are more close together. And right now through AR and VR, pretty much you wear it, right? And later on, maybe, you know, you put a contact context inside your eyes. So, you know, like um, human and computer start, you know, embrace each other and uh, become more and more powerful and more efficient. So yeah, very interesting. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look of another news, which is called, uh, it's on LinkedIn and under a, a person, a guy's, um, uh, post and this person is called C Serene Van Casting sign. Yeah. And then uh, he he is the uh, executive VP at Walmart Global Tech. So yeah. So in his article, yeah, if you go to LinkedIn and follow um S Serene Van Casting. Yeah. If you follow him and uh, you can see uh, his article. And the title of the article is Our New Augmented Reality Feature, feature for Associates Has Made Inventory That Plays Hide and Seek, A Thing of the Past. Okay, so um, what's the problem of the inventory? The inventory thing is that, you know, like, um, if you work for, uh, supermarket, you know, that one of the most important thing for the employees is to, uh, you know, take all the, in, uh, all the product from the warehouse, right? And then put to the, the shelf. That is a big thing. And then, yeah, I remember a long time ago, I worked for a Sam's Club or, uh, yeah, Sam's Club. I have to go to the warehouse and start, you know, taking a lot of stuff. And sometimes, you know, the box, the brown box, the, the giant box, they look the same. And it's all packed inside. And I have to, you know, manually write down how many uh, is inside, how many I took. And at the end, I need to take a photo, right? Because, yeah, because this is a really, I would say, tedious process. And sometimes, you know, if something is missing and yeah, we, before we were, we, we try to, you know, kind of track all the inventory. Sometimes there will be something missing and you don't know why if, you know, you, you didn't write it down. So pretty much I have to, uh, you know, unbox uh, the, the big box and then take out some, some boxes and then put to the front. 
yeah. And then sometimes, you know, uh, if I was just by myself, sometimes, you know, if something, you know, if a, a customer takes something right and go 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 around the the mall and they, you know, lift somewhere they they don't want to purchase it, so they put somewhere in other shelf. Uh, sometimes at the end of the day or in the morning of the day, the the cashier will return the box to to us. Like, oh, this is uh, the the stuff that um, you know, like oh, customer doesn't want. Yeah, we can get some of them, but sometimes it's just missing. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> as far as I know, this is uh, um, inventory stuff. It's sometimes it's just <laughs> it's a little hard to track. Yeah, so pretty much uh, by using AR, right? And if you see the, um, that's, if you can see my screen, you can see that the, the woman, the manager, pretty much, you know, like scan the shell, right? And then uh, on the shell, each box, it has the, the code, right? So we all know that AR, sometimes it's through the, the, the picture code. Uh, the 2D code. Sometimes it's through the 3D model code, right? So, um, yeah, by using the simple image, uh, like the the image recognition, the code, uh, you know, like the the form integrate with AI and IoT, it can really track or give you the visual feedback whether you put this right or wrong or you know track the number. Because basically in in uh, uh, Walmart, um, more than 10K inventory per second of inventory are moving, right? They, they have a lot of different events going on. So 10K, around 10K inventory are moving somewhere uh, per second uh, in Walmart. So it is very important to uh, track uh, all, the, all the inventories and uh, also whether the manager or the staff put the the inventory right or wrong, right? So by, you know, integrate um, IoT machine learning in uh, AR and AR, it can really help us to, you know, track and learn and even know like, you know, uh, what, what, what inventories is. Like you, you can know the, uh, exactly what's the, the product going to somewhere, right? So um, yeah, so, you know, it really makes sense of, yeah, because people use machine learning to help every store predict its unique inventory trends to automatically determine when the products should be shipped to the, sh the store rather than waiting for the store to request it. So uh, by using this technology, right, it can not only tell you like whether the staff put the, um, the inventory in the right space or not, but also it can predict predict the trend whether this uh, store is out of um, the stock before it, you know, it find out and take, um, you know, write the request. So I think, yeah, yeah. So right now, this is the second uh, article that talks about machine learning and IoT and AR. Mm. So I think, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see all of those happening. Okay, so the third one will be Road to VR. Okay, Road to VR.com. Um, the article is, uh, the title is Archeo is a collab collaborative tool for architecture design and review available now on Quest, PC and more. Uh, it the article is written by Ben Lan. Okay, so uh, Archeo, yeah. So let's talk about Archeo. So if you can uh, see my screen, um, you can see that uh, in this collaborate uh, VR tool, it's kind of allow you to build uh, VR, you know, like either architecture or you know VR stuff pretty much that allows you to do the 3D modeling is inside the uh, VR space. But the good thing is that it is cross-platform, which means that it 
it has a lot of integrations, such as, uh, you know, the as for hardware part, it it um, allows you to do um, collaboration or building across uh, Quest, Rift, Stream VR, iOS, Android, and Windows. Right. So those are really good, and also it uh, it has a lot of different uh, software. Um, you know, if you have some, uh, you can import in some existing 3D models from the industry standard tools like uh, uh, Revit, Rhino, uh, SketchUp, and BIM 360. So uh, you can pretty much think back, you know, about your work as well. So yeah, so uh, if you can see my screen, um, pretty much people can, you know, uh, immerse themselves inside of VR and doing the, you know, the real size one. So if you want to build a building, you can pretty much pull the building in the real human size and, you know, like, and then you can go back to use your tablet and start, you know, collaborate. For example, like in the, in the video, you can see that a guy using the tablet and draw a line uh, in the space. And then people in VR and see the line, right? See the line from the guy use the tablet and he knows where to pull the, the right right place, uh, right model to the right place. So I think not only through the, the platform, but also the, the uh, build. And you can see a lot of really cool, for example, like, um, I, um, for example, if you are building a house, right? And two people are building it, right? And uh, uh, you can pretty much see the real size. And also if someone pull a window and pull, push on the, the wall and there will be some boolean effect it's just like you know like like a lego but in kind of like a virtual reality and it's like instantly every material everything is applied it's yeah it's very interesting um, to see all all this and uh, yeah so you can use different platform and also use 2d like you know tablet you know, like computer, like 2D mode. And also, you know, you can um, do the real size and apply the, the different elements um, just right away, right? And they have a handful of tools. So I personally think that this is very, very good. And uh, yeah, so it, it even has smartphone apps, right? So yeah, it's, um, it, you can annotate uh, uh, measure the model and also edit it. So yeah, you can do VR mode, AR mode, and the normal traditional mode. Um, yeah, so, and then it seems like they have a free version that, um, you know, you can get free uh, through uh, September 1st, September 1st. And after that is $55 per month. Yeah, so yeah, and uh, you know, it can support models up to uh, 400K polygons. Yeah, so yeah, so I think this is very, very uh, useful, handy for people who want to do, you know, more, um, um, I would say more architecture part or the uh, interior design or, you know, more um, urban plane or, you know, the, the architecture, some, some neighborhood plane. Yeah, I think, this is uh, really handy uh, stuff. Right? Okay, thank you for joining me and uh, hopefully see you next week. Bye-bye.